the most expensive thrift trip ever. <laughs> And we're going thrifting. Hey, so we're here in this Goodwill in Boston. This is a big store. So I'm just kind of like getting my bearings, but I think I do want to start over in the dresses and then move into the tops and stuff. Definitely looking for fall pieces and also just kind of seeing what they've got here. I have seen this store in other YouTube videos, so I kind of mapped it out because I knew it could only get to one store in the city, and so this is the one I picked. So hopefully it's gonna be a good thrift today. <laughs> I feel like this Moomoo could be really cool on this on the right person if they styled it maybe belted it with like a brown belt and did some like knee-high boots with it um, I just love that print <laughs> I like this little neutral H&M knit dress, but it's too small for me, but cute little fall basic. This is cute. Let's put it in the cart. This is pretty Boston, too. This little 90s velvet burnout dress with the cutout high neck. That's so cute. Imagine that with some dark lipstick and a little like strappy heel. I am kind of into this dress. This is like a fun, dramatic piece. So it's got like a nice flow to it and the fact that it's like super maxi length and has this high neckline too with the little detail. I think that's kind of neat. It's a cute little Betsy Johnson. Look at this silk skirt suit from Talbot's. It's so gorgeous, love this color. It's only 15 bucks. Wow, so they do have a huge dress section here, so I'm glad I tackled that first. I did end up with a number of dresses in my cart that I'm gonna try out, and I'll kind of show you the things I'm considering at the end. And now, I think I'm gonna head over into the shoes, actually. looks cool because I love the uh, hinged opening but it doesn't look vintage Monique and it's not in the best condition so I don't know I'm probably gonna leave that but it's cute I found these like pink dock style boots and I'm having trouble figuring out what size they are so I'm gonna see if they fit me and like consider these but other than that 
I didn't find any other shoes. And I think there might be a couple more bags, but so far no bags either. So I think I'm gonna move on to the tops and sweaters. maybe like about halfway through digging through this store and I just like first impression they have a lot of cool contemporary like more modern pieces and just like little hints of vintage here and there so this is a really fun sort of shop because I feel like I'm gonna walk away like I've got sweaters in my cart I've got dresses in my cart already and I feel like I'm gonna walk away with like maybe a few really good basic pieces for fall and a couple of like really cute vintage gems so that's really what I like to see a lot of the time I mean I love a store that's overflowing with funky vintage but a place where you can go in and like enjoy the hunt but also like walk away with good staples that you'll really wear you know like this is pretty this is a pretty good store so far so anyway now we're through the sweaters I do want to like stop through the rest of the women's tops not sure about bottoms just because I'll just kind of see if I have time um, but also want to look at like the men's sweatshirts and sweaters because that is going to be a big fall item and winter item for me so anyway we'll do more tops and then bottoms of time <laughs> I just want to make sure I have enough time to show you everything I actually found in my car because I'm showing you pieces that I'm finding as I go but there's a bunch of stuff that you haven't seen yet that I want to show you like everything at the end So the tops were okay. I was surprised because normally I have the most luck in like finding funky vintage blouses, like in short sleeve blouses, but just a few things I threw in my cart. Again, I'm gonna show you everything here soon, but um, let's cruise through the bottoms. I'm at, over in the pants right now, the women's pants, and then um, I'll probably swing through the skirts too, but I'm really just kind of like browsing. It's hard because um, the organization is more by like uh, style and color versus size which sometimes is really fun if you like to dig through sizes that are not exactly yours which i normally do but today i'm just going to be scanning for like patterns and colors that i'm looking for like these so cute for fall but too small for me Sorry, I can't hear you over these loud pants. Okay, I kind of forgot about jackets. We're over in the jackets now. <laughs> Look at this cute little vintage jacket. It's got all these colorful spots in it.
knit, no big deal. <laughs> All right, so I did cruise through the skirts, but I really didn't find anything. It's not a big item on my list at the moment. So anyway, I really just kind of want to hit up the men's section and then have plenty of time to show you everything in my cart. So I think that's the plan. We're wrapping up here after the men's section. Guess what? Somebody pushed my cart and knocked over my camera and broke it. So, I'm on my phone now. I'm gonna try to... <sighs> I'm upset. I hope I can get it fixed. I'm gonna try to show you everything, but I don't have any way to like prop up my camera. So, let's see what we can do. Okay, so cart check. I have like actually a full cart. It didn't feel like I was finding a ton, but I ended up with a full cart. So let's see what I got. I pulled these navy pinstripe pants because I really like the wide leg and they look super light and comfy. I think the navy pinstripe would, could be a good fall like transitional piece. The only thing is I don't like the drawstring and I wish they were more structured. So I think I might leave these behind. But they are a half off tag, so they're maybe. I found this silk knit at the last minute here. This is really nice and I love black and white stripe. Also a half off tag. I'm considering this blazer. I really like this bright black and white houndstooth and it's a super soft material, it's really comfy. Totally not fall, totally opposite, but I found this Hilo Hattie Hawaiian blouse I had to show you. This little vintage boss, I love like the bat wing kind of dolman sleeve. This is a Bowden like stretchy kind of second skin top and I love the print. This one I think could be really cute like styled underneath a blazer and kind of like dressed up a little bit but I don't know kind of like on its own with jeans I really don't think it would work so maybe not like the most versatile piece but the colors are fun. This little Talbot sweater I love the color and the buttons on it and it's got another like kind of bat wing cut style. It's a little bit cropped too. I think this could be so cute with some like high-waisted pleated trousers for fall. This is a funky like Zara sweatshirt that I kind of just picked up because it's so different. This little vintage Liz Claiborne cardigan. This fun vintage uh, gold metallic knit. The only thing is I already have like a white and gold metallic knit sweater that I love to wear. So I don't know if I want to pick up another one, you know, but I love how oversized and like the huge knit on this one. I think this one's really cute and different. I love this color. It's like a cinnamon brown kind of. And then it has this fun little strap buckle across the top, it's cute. And it's a very soft mohair. It's an Angora blend sweater. Sweet little vintage chunky knit cardigan. But well, I do have some stuff like this already in my closet, so I'm probably gonna leave it. I did pull this dress, but it's not gonna fit me, but I thought it could be really fun to style. Oh, look at this little vintage dress. Kind of has that like paisley like bandana style print on it. I do feel like this piece does not look very fall to me, so I probably wouldn't get wear out of it for a while. So it's, it's kind of a maybe. I love this fabric. The print is so cute, the colors, but it's definitely gonna be too small for me. This is a great fall piece. Like I love this kind of orangey brown color. It looks like a Madewell piece, but it has no tags. And I'm gonna say it might just be like a fast fashion online brand. 
but it might be too big. I'm gonna actually like pull over my dress. It's like pretty loose up here, so I'd have to like make sure I had on another layer or like do fashion tape or something to make sure that the bus didn't fall open. I just don't think that like the way this is like an empire waist is very flattering either. So I'm, I'm probably gonna leave this one, but it would it would be such a great basic for somebody like in a little bit different shape than me. I found this um, like butterfly print gown and I love this, all the different shades of green in the butterfly print, but it's like a full length. I kind of wish it was a shorter dress. And uh, with this material, like I definitely don't feel good about hemming it myself. Don't know if I would pay to get it altered, but I gotta show you, it's a maybe. And this is a little um, like sash or scarf that comes with it. It's just tied on to there for now, but it doesn't live there. Wouldn't it be cute to pull like a chunky knit sweater over the top? This one, I love like this sheer like flutter, like collar and the sheer balloon sleeves. It's a wrap style, which is usually really flattering. So I just thought this was a really pretty dress. And the last thing in my cart is this uh, little floral cotton dress, little vintage piece. I love this ditzy floral. I think like you could do a denim jacket and sneakers with this. It's just such a like, like cute, like teacher slash soccer mom type of style moment. And it, but it looks really clean cut and cute at the same time, you know what I mean. I don't really think it's my vibe, so I'm gonna leave it for someone else. So yeah, I've got like 10 pieces there that are like yeses or maybe. So I'm gonna do my final sorting through everything and I'm gonna work on getting my camera fixed. But yeah, I'm gonna check out and get going because I am going home tonight. So I'm gonna get you the haul once I get there. All right, so that was an interesting thrift. I think that Goodwill was pretty decent, especially considering it was in the city center. And I personally tend to do a bit better in suburban and rural areas. But I had seen that Goodwill in a tailor-made style video and it also happened to be the one closest to my hotel, so. It was pretty much what I expected to see. What I did not expect was for my camera to break and that really kind of like sullied the whole trip for me. Even though I walked away with some cool items, which I'll show you in a sec. But technically it ended up being the most expensive thrift trip ever because I had to replace my camera. So I was able to do that. By the way, I got both my cameras secondhand. The first one I had gotten on eBay and then this week I was able to find a replacement through someone on a Facebook marketplace. So don't forget, you can thrift that stuff too. So camera issue resolved, apologies for for the phone footage that you saw in this video as well as one that you'll see in an upcoming video while I was still resolving my camera issue. But first world problems, right? Let's get into the thrift haul. I'll show you all the pieces and as always, I'm gonna style up some looks with what I got. I ended up thrifting all tops and there was that one pair of those like blue pinstripe pants, but I decided to leave them behind. I l didn't like how unstructured they were even though I liked the wide flowy leg. I just, I thought I would hold off. There's always stuff like that in the thrift store. So if you don't find, you know, your perfect pair, you don't have to settle, you know what I mean? But anyway, I always have better luck in the tops, so let me show you. I'm gonna try out this little Zara sweatshirt. I just love this like really weird, funky mix of fur and sweatshirt. I think this would be so fun to style. I also love the cobalt blue in there, so I'd like to play up some of the blue if possible, but I'm not too sure because it'll depend on the pieces that I have in my closet. If I had some like, cobalt blue skirt or trousers or something to go with it, that would be perfect. But I'm thinking I'm gonna be, end up pairing this with like black skinny jeans and some boots and just make it like a really kind of sleek, fun fall look. It's like having pom-poms like on your forearms. Yeah! <laughs> I love it. I love it. I got this teal button sweater, which is originally from Talbot's. It's 100% merino wool, which is really like a soft wearable wool. Just a really high quality piece. All of the buttons are still in really good condition and kind of that like quality that you expect to see from a Talbot's piece. Also really like the little rib knit feature of this one and how it's kind of got like a wider dolman sleeve silhouette. I'm definitely thinking about pairing this one with some like high-waisted trousers and loafers or something like that and going for like kind of a, an academia style with it. I 
couldn't say no to this silk knit stripey top. I love a black and white striped top. I do own a number of pieces that are similar to this, but I kind of always allow myself to pick up more because these are the types of pieces that I will reach for and wear over and over and over again. And this one is like an upgrade on some of the items that I already have. So I'm always down for a thrifted upgrade. The fact that it's 100% silk and just such a lovely little cut of a shirt. Love this piece. And this guy was on sale for only $2.50. I tried to talk myself out of getting this sweater because I have a white and like gold metallic knit sweater already that I love to wear in the holiday season. But this style is so different because of the like thick cable knit. It just, it looks completely different than the one that I have. It is how I justified it to myself anyway. And it's a longer, more oversized cut than what I have. So anyway, we're giving it a shot. I'm going to see if I can get some good fall styling. And then I think this will be a really good holiday piece as well. At the last second by the register, I spotted this really cute pattern tie. And I wanted to see if it was something that I thought I might style and wear. I've been doing a little bit of necktie styling, but I prefer the little mini clip-ons for what I wear. But anyway, liked the print a lot. And then I looked at the tag and it's freaking Yves Saint Laurent. <laughs> so I got this for just a couple bucks, a little designer necktie. I was kind of hoping I could tie it as a little hair scarf, but I don't know. I don't want it to look goofy and I also don't want to like completely ruin the tie by like knotting it up really tight in my hair. So we'll see. And last I grabbed this daisy print top. This is originally from Bowdoin, which is like a more high-end brand. It's very like thin and stretchy. It reminds me of a lot of the second skin tops that have been popular. I know it's going to be like skin tight on me, but I was kind of hoping that I could play with the styling by having something really, really fitted. I think that could make a great layering piece like underneath the blazers and try to like tr transition it into a fall piece as well. Well, thanks for thrifting with me. I hope you enjoyed watching a little bit different spot for us in Boston. Hopefully I get a chance to go back there and hit up some more thrift stores in the future. And hope you got some good style inspo from the styling portion. Let me know what your favorite pieces or looks were or if you think I passed up any really good items in the thrift store. You can give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe and turn on notifications, all the YouTube things. And I will see you guys soon for another video.